stage, sir, uh, madam, uh, but only if that referendum occurs. Thank you. Speaker. I call Mark Mitchell. Well, Madam Speaker, I wonder whether or not the member will be taking that speech and posting it on the New Zealand First website. <laughs> because, because fundamentally he's just stood in the House and, um, and gone against everything that the New Zealand First Party campaigned on in relation to Mary seats. The leader of the party, the Right Honourable Winston Peters, said unequivocally during the uh, campaign that if they are elected and if they come into government, the Maori seats are gone. That's right. There was no doubt left in that. It was black and white. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people that probably voted for New Zealand first <laughs> voted for a policy that they actually liked. Now they're entrenching them. A policy that we don't agree with, but a, but a policy that they'd liked. Now we've got the poor member. I feel sorry for Derek Ball, because he obviously drew the short straw last night. Junior member who had, who had, to, who had to stand in the House today with no conviction at all and have to tell the country that now we're going to support this bill. Now we're going to support this bill through to a uh, select committee. With a little caveat being, if they don't give us a referendum, then we're going to withdraw our support. So let's see. Let's test that and let's see. I think that uh, we've, we've been very clear about the fact that, uh, that we talk about entrenchment of the Maori seats. And I want to acknowledge um, Reno Turakatne in the comments that I think uh, the Honourable Chris Finlayson made, because um, in my time in Parliament with Reno, um, I found him. Order. I refer to the member by his full name, please. Yeah, sorry, uh, uh, Madam Speaker. So, in my time in Parliament um, working with Reno Turakatne, I found him to be an extremely good member, uh, affable member to work with, um, that has always got a good contribution to make, and I know that he's highly respected as the chair of the Mary Affairs um, Select Committee. Um, I was very disappointed, I just have to say, I know that I don't have much time, but um, the speech that Willie Jackson made said everything that's what's wrong about this country in terms of the relationship between Maori, Pakeha and, the, and what's a, 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 a deeply diverse cultural... And so they have more, more criticism coming now because, I may not, because my pronunciation might, might not be quite up to speed to what Carmel Cepaloni wants. And this is the whole issue, is that we had... We had Willie Jackson stand in the House and question Simon Bridges' whakapapa because he may not look or speak or act like Willie Jackson. Actually, a lot of Mary, our Mary these days are urban Mary, right? And this is, the, this is exactly the issue and the problem. And here we go, Tamati Coffey sat there and supported Willie Jackson and his attack on me, his attack on Chris Finlayson. I can tell you, I take great pride Order. in my electorate of Rodney. I take great pride in my lecture of Rodney, Madam Speaker, that I work with my local iwi. And let me give you an example of a very good project that we just delivered with the local iwi, with the uh, Rotary Club and the Lions Club, myself, all working together to take the Wartworth Courthouse and turn it into a centre that now, uh, that now um, uh, is a food security programme that takes food from local supermarkets that's not going to be used and it goes out to the local schools. That's a partnership between local e iwi, Rotary, Lions and the local MP and actually the local board as well. So don't will Mr Willie Jackson stand in this house and somehow cast the aspersion that because I'm not Mary or Chris Finlayson or Nick Smith that we don't work with support and achieve um, things with our local iwi. We do. You know, my, my, um, I, 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 was in, I was in Northland a couple of months ago visiting the grandfather of my nephews and my niece, and the grandfather, who I'm very proud of the fact that he's about to be knighted under this government, and that's Heck Busby. My sister is married to, um, to his son. So please don't, so, so, so please don't, no, we're not supporting the bill, but I'm addressing, I'm addressing what I think was, a, and actually, Kerry Allen's in the house. Let me tell you something. My grandfather, who, was, who owned Bell Ive Orchard, sorry, Madam Chair, who owned Bell Ive Orchard in Gisborne 50 years ago, traded with the local Maori fish and fruit. He had an orchard, one of the first Pākehā in Gisborne to be taken and taught how to carve. And he was proud of that and the carvings that he produced. So don't support Willie Jackson. Don't support Willie Jackson when he stands in this house and starts to make race baiting and starts to turn the debate into something that it shouldn't be. We're talking about the entrenchment of Mary's seats, and we're talking about passing legislation that actually 
Ms, uh, Nick Smith has made a very good point. If you want to get up and you want to make an argument, argue against the Electoral Integrity Bill, because the Electoral Integrity Bill is going to remove any independence that you might feel you have order, order. as Maori representatives. I Sorry, uh, Madam Speaker. Your time has expired. Thank you. A point of order, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Madam Speaker, uh, members may be aware that New Zealand First policy is from the last elections not up on their website, and so I specifically seek mm, the leave. Smith. I seek the leave of the House to table the New Zealand First policy that is not on the website titled The Time is Up for the Māori Seats. Uh, leave that is document. for that purpose. Is there any objection? Excuse me. Points of order. Just a moment. Just a moment. Points of order are taken in silence. The member has put leave to the House. Is there any objection? Uh, there is point objection. of order. Point of order. Point of order, Madam Speaker. And yes, I seek of order leave of the House to table a document dated the 8th of May 2018, where Mr Jones says, I don't know anyone in our caucus who is going to vote for entrenchment, a statement from the New Zealand First Party of that date. Thank you. Leave a sort for that purpose. Is there objection? There is. That's... Sorry. I seek leave of the House to table uh, the report stated Winston Peters delivers bottom line binding referendum on abolishing Maori seats, dated the 16th of July 2017. Uh, do you have any more um, documents that you? Two further. Well, actually, would you, there's would a you such. Would to put them to, together? And we, we will put the leave. Oh. Of... Point of order. Um, I think it is um, part of the rule when tabling documents, you actually have to say where the source is. He's just referring to reports and not telling us where they're from. Uh, so uh, the, the, I would ask that you, you do that. I thank the member. Um, the, the matter is easily resolved. If leave is put to the House, the House can decide. Um, continue you. if you would. If you thank would you, Madam Speaker. I'm happy to clarify for thank the uh, member's intent. The 16th of July statement of 2017 is a statement from the New Zealand website at the launch of their conference in which Winston, that's right, but it's been removed and that's why it's not accessible. It's not surprising it's been removed given New Zealand first position and it states Winston Peters bottom line on abolishing Maori seats. And I seek leave to table that. Are you um, seeking leave to table that yeah, document? Are you confident that these documents are not available? No. If you go on the New Zealand, right, they've been removed. After and, the how, and how were you able to come by them? Then? Sorry. How were you able to come by them if they're not publicly oh, available? The National Party took a copy last year to enable us to be able to have access to documents. New Zealand First is not very proud of their policy, but we think it's important okay, to remind New Zealanders you. of uh, what they said. Thank you. Um, it's easily resolved. I put leave to the House. Is, is there objection? Thank you. Um, uh, point of order, Derek Ball. Madam Speaker, I seek leave of the House to table a report dated 5th of July 2018, in which um, the Right Honourable Winston Peters is quoted uh, if they put up an SOP in for a referendum, then it will be all is on. This a publicly That's available when we put document? all our cards on the table as to whether there should be is Maori seats, and if so, should they be entrenched? Excuse me, is this a publicly available document, Mr. Ball? Is it publicly? It is. It will, the leave will not be put to the House. Malo. Order. Malo order. Order. Mr. Ball, order. <laughs> Mr. Ball. Order. Derek Ball, you will stand and you will withdraw and apologise. And if your behaviour continues in that way, I will be asking you to leave the chamber. I withdraw and apologise. Malo e lo malie e kisia. Oh, 